The following video is a guide on how to install an Envision PowerBoard version 2 on your website. You're going to need FTP, MySQL, and PHP. The first step is to extract my archive here, or if you have your own, you can use your own, it should all work. And you have all your files. You're going to need to go to your FTP in the public HTML folder, make a new folder. Um, I have my own forum, so for sake of the tutorial, I made my own called Forum Tut. Um, also, to make things faster, I have already put all the files on there, but you can do that simply by selecting them all and dragging them, whoop, dragging them like this. Um, of course, it's not going to want to move. Uh, there you go. Um, I just moved it by accident, but just ignore that. Um, you can also upload the archive and unpackage it if you have shell access but if you don't know what that is just don't worry about that the next step is to make a MySQL database you need to go to your control panel or your C panel or yeah C panel uh, click on MySQL databases um, make your database um, like IPB or forum or something um, I'm just gonna name mine tut because this is a tutorial and I want to keep things simple so you know which one I made you'll get a confirmation message um, just scroll down a little bit and you need to make a user for it I'll just make mine tut user as you can see right there um, password for simplicity some well sorry simplicity I'll make mine one two three however I'd recommend using something a lot harder so that it can't be guessed or brute forced as this will give the hacker full access to the forum. Click on create user. You'll get this confirmation message. Click on go back. Um, you'll need to assign the user to the database. This is what most people skip. Um, if the user isn't on the list, you'll need to refresh the page. Luckily for me it is. So there you go. You have your user in the drop down menu in the database. You click on add give it all privileges make the changes you'll get this confirmation message if it works properly and then you click on go back now there's one more thing you need to do before you can start the installation of the forum you just need to rename this little file right here if you don't have my package you might not need to do this but if you have flash fxp just right click it and click on um, rename and just take off the dot dist and there you have it. Now you can start the installation. Because my folder is not a subdomain, I will go to website, whoops, website.com slash folder name. So in this case it would be forum tut. And there you will get the Envision PowerBoard installer. If it is a subdomain, it would be folder name dot website dot com. So for me forum tut dot op to rules dot net. Either way, once you're at this installer, you should have no problems for the, west of the rest of the way except for the database setup. So let's clear things up right there. Agree to the terms even if you actually don't. Um, leave these as default. Um, database name, we named ours opturules underscore tut. I usually don't put the prefix like that just so it, there's been some problems with that. Um, the user was opturules underscore tut user password one two three hit next this is the information for the form account so just make it admin um, password one two three again I don't recommend doing that confirm the password set your email um, there's mine hit next and then click on start installation this will start the installation of your Envision PowerBoard It'll take a second. You can just leave it to do its own thing or click on the forward button. It doesn't matter. It's all automatic. Um, shouldn't take too long. It may also ask you to chmod some files. If you do need to do that, um, for example, say you need to chmod this file, 
you just right click it attributes or control O and select it to what it's asking you to put it as so 777 or 677 or whatever you need it to be um, here we are there you go and your Envision Powerboard installation is finished now to check it out let's see if it worked there you have it there's your newly installed forum this is the default skin for a 2.x.x forum you can log into your ACP now with the account you made before so admin 123 click on go these annoying messages and ACP right there